WebEx by Cisco provides multiple locations for both administrators and end users to search for and to find both step-by-step -step instructions as well as tasks on configuring and maintaining their Cisco WebEx calling subscription. One of these websites, callinghelp.webex.com, has both administrator and end user information in a both written as well as video form to help both of these groups configure and maintain their Cisco WebEx calling administrative platform. Additional functionalities also allow you to search for specific topics inside this site. One of the nice things that you can do is actually type in a topic. I will go ahead and take a look and we will try to search for auto attendant. Notice how the search results provides me with multiple links to different capabilities that I might be looking for. Additionally, the actual search results tell me the form that this is provided in. Of course, a written form would look like this and we have the icon for a video around specifically this task. I'm gonna go ahead and click this video to intro to auto attendant videos for administrators. It's going to take me to the site and of course I can play this video back, hopefully gaining the information and knowledge I need on how to actually deploy an auto attendant inside WebEx Calling. What's really nice about this site is because it's not password protected, administrators can find links for other administrators as well as for their end users and provide them those links where those locations are accessible even without a Cisco login for those individual users. Secondly, we have help.webex.com. This is the master site for all Cisco WebEx cloud services and also includes the specific information and a lot of task by task information around WebEx calling. To get to the specific information, we will then of course choose the help by product and go down to WebEx calling. Inside here you will find more generic information as well as specific information around the different functionalities and capabilities and different products inside the WebEx calling portfolio. I'm gonna choose the feature for dedicated instance. This of course brings me down to a subset of information around dedicated instance and I can choose the option here for manage dedicated instance. This of course brings me to one of the help screens and allows me the capability to see more specific step-by-step -step instructions on maybe viewing my dedicated instance or maybe looking at my usage details or other features that I might be looking for. Help.webex.com has a vast amount of information as well as callinghelp.webex.com. I hope this video has been informational for you. And if you need more information, please come back to help.webex.com. Thank you and have a great day.